On the lower screen right side, you have a tab called Sources. This is essentially your video library. So you click it, it'll open up this little menu, and you'll see this is the video that we first imported. Now there is an option to add more. So technically this is your sixth way to bring in another video. And the seventh way is to drag and drop either onto the working, just the working panel or even the source. So you just drag and drop a video and that'll work. Uh, here we're just gonna use the plus since it's here. So let me go ahead and bring this video in. Since I did not um, enable the don't show again button, this is always gonna populate every single time I bring in a video clip. So I'm gonna start editing. I can always choose start from preset. Uh, okay. That's just bringing in one video. What if I wanna bring multiple videos? So let's bring this one, this one, this one, this one. All right, so let's go ahead and open, but I'm gonna do that. So if I was to go to one of these other videos that I did initiate, I have to keep start edit or preset unless I enable the don't show again, okay? Okay, great. So let's take a look a little bit more at the sources. What can we do here? Now, if you look into the three dots here and you just click it, or essentially anywhere in the gray, you could open an external player, show an explorer, select all, which straightforward, you select all the clips. You could close all inputs here. It's going to show inputs of six here. What's important is if you select three, it'll show the number three. Let's actually do that as an example. Let's do these three. So they're highlighted. If I click this, and now it shows those three. So I could close that single input. Let's go ahead and just close this one. All right. And it's pretty straightforward. Close all inputs. Another thing you could do is if you had several sources and you need a little bit more real estate here, if you go to the top edge, you could drag this up. If you had just one line of sources and this was too much real estate, then you could go ahead and just bring this down. Personally, I'm just gonna leave it to default. I think it's a good setup and that's it. Essentially, that's all you need to know about the video libraries and the sources for now.